Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to make custom drawer organizers. When it comes to making custom drawer organizers, there's a lot of different materials where you can make it out of. Generally what we use is half inch foam, in this case here it's black, and you can see it literally just falls apart, which is actually what you want, because this actually gets removed by the customer, and there you can see the part that they want to have in there. Uh, some of it sticks a little bit together, and the reason for that is because when we ship these things out, it's just easier for the, org for the customer to take them out of the package and already have it sort of almost all broken up on purpose. Now I'll just take a little piece here out of it. Now what you notice about this foam here other than the color and again it's half inch you notice that the cells are very very dense. This is why aerospace grade foam costs a lot of money because it's very dense but it's really good for sound. Uh, if I had my whole shop with this stuff all around it you wouldn't hear any echoes. It's just wonderful foam for that. Uh, but more specifically for custom drawer uh, organizers. The reason why this foam is great is because it doesn't deteriorate as fast. It does eventually deteriorate as fast as your typical foam that you see uh, when you order stuff uh, from, you know, wherever. Uh, they usually use foam that's a lot uh, lighter and also has cells, which you could barely make out here. They're a lot larger. And the problem with that is that, let's say I have a pencil for instance and the cells are very large what happens is it's very easy to dislodge them and so uh, the foam itself starts to degrade very fast now because the density of this foam is very high it weighs almost nothing by the way so it's mostly still air because of the density we get a lot more higher resolution let me just bring this up over here so the resolution that we get with this here is probably like 600 dpi, it's just something insane. And that's really good for tooling because what you want to do is have just enough give so that the tooling fits comfortably in it, not have something where it sort of gets loose and can get and, and to uh, vibrate and that kind of stuff, which is bad, generally for the customers that we make these for. And the other issue is that if you have something sharp or something that you don't want to uh, move too much on multiple levels. Having high density foam keeps uh, the half inch roughly every time you move up. So let's say this pencil here uh, weighs about 40 kilograms and it's got a small little bit coming out over here or something like that. We can make multiple layers so that when it goes onto it again the weight is distributed a lot easier across the piece.
A few questions I get from customers. I've done other videos where we're actually using foam of different colors. So yes, we can do this at different colors and different thicknesses. Uh, we found that if we go more than half an inch uh, with our laser, we have other tooling if you want to go one inch, two inch, whatever you want. Um, with specifically with the laser, if we go uh, too thick, what ends up happening is this becomes a huge fire hazard because uh, basically what this is is gas and oil or petroleum, I guess. And when the laser is cutting through it, it's cutting through it via burning. It's a laser. So it's very high energy shooting down. And what you don't see in the video is the huge, like not a fireball, but the huge flame shooting down from it. Now we have an extraction system. We have a very powerful and capable machine. So we could do that safely. Uh, but that is always a concern whenever we do this kind of work. So, you know, this is not something you want to cut and then, you know, go off on vacation and come back and something happened and, you know, there goes your shop. Uh, there's also a good side and a bad side. So you can see here, this is the good side and this is the bad side. You can see a little bit of the smoke that builds up along the edges. Now this doesn't really matter. We could technically mask it if you didn't want it, but really when this goes into a drawer like this here, in any shape, any size that you want, you're always looking at the good side. Now as for thickness, generally what we do is when we have a drawer uh, that needs organizing with custom tooling and that kind of stuff, uh, we generally use about quarter inch at the bottom without the holes and we use a contrasting color. I don't have it here uh, for this demonstration, but it could be red, it could be green, it could be blue, any kind of color that you want and even yellow. And it's the same thing with this here, half inch, we can get it a whole bunch of different colors as well. So let's say your corporate colors are, are green and blue. Well, all of your custom drawer organizers can be green and blue as well. Now, as for thicknesses, the advantage of going half an inch at a time is that, again, if you have specialized tooling, um, I don't have any examples here, for example, um, like you see this little tab here, for instance, on the pen. So we can cut out one layer, let's say, that has the tab hole here and the other layer that just has the whole pen. So that means you can only put it in this way. So again, there's a lot of flexibility when it comes to making custom drawer organizers. Now what we need to give you a quote and to go about doing it is we need to know the size of the drawer, how many drawers you want, and how thick you want to go. So for some parts, you know, something like this would be about maybe seven inches high. And if you want to put them this way, that's fine. You can put them this way as well. But this way you use up a lot less space. Now the other thing you want to keep in mind is distance. Let's take a look at, again we'll just use pens, but you know they could be highly calibrated tooling, whatever you want. So the problem is if they're very close like this here in the drawer insert, remember we're cutting through petroleum. What ends up happening is the middle part literally just melts and it deforms. So generally for our customers uh, there are always exceptions, of course, based on thickness and so forth. But generally what I tell them is you want roughly half an inch. So about this kind of spacing between. So if you have uh, three pencils or three pens, the spacing you have in between them is the spacing you want on a drawer organizer. If you have any other questions about it, contact me at cncri.com. We make a lot of custom drawer inserts. We do one-offs. Uh, small volume and we also do high volume for a whole factory. So whatever kind of volume or questions you might have, uh, we've gone through it before. And the material doesn't need to be foam. We can make them out of acrylic, we can make them out of wood. Um, if you want like mahogany drawer inserts that are very, very nice and very expensive, we could totally make that for you. So your, your material base can be literally anything. Thickness can be anything. Size can be literally anything as well. So contact me at cncri.com and we'll make custom drawer organizers just for you.